All right, YouTubers, got a uh, stellar windy day in uh, Great Plains, North America, and uh, made a little alteration to my setup here based on some of that healthy advice uh, from friendly wind folks. Uh, I've got the dump loads here. I got three dump load coils, uh, 24 volt, 300 watts. I was having problems with uh, this inverter going into overvolt and staying there uh, too long and so made a change to the dump load configuration and uh, just got things hooked up. Getting some pretty healthy gusts here. Again my setup here I've got uh, DC volts meter on the far left there. I've got the uh, in-speed wind reading in the middle. Come on and uh, Mr. Kilowatt there on the right. Well, it's kind of hard to tell with a little of the glare there, but uh, we had some pretty intense gusts a couple minutes ago. We'll see if we can't uh, do it again. And it did overvolt, but only stayed offline, if you will, for gosh, five or six seconds, and then uh, was cranking out the watts again. So let's see how she does. now I'm not uh, getting the gust but uh, pretty windy day had gusts easily into the 30s uh, some low 40s as well see if we can't catch a couple of more of those getting up there but eh, getting a little higher had some real wall shakers here a little earlier this is out in a uh, old feed shed I've got long term I'm gonna have to look at uh, protecting this equipment a little bit. It gets a little dusty and windy, but made a lot more sense to grid tie out here for a variety of reasons than uh, actually at the house. So uh, I think long term this will work all right. So I've said in a couple other videos, the actual wind that the wind max is getting is probably slightly higher than what's registering there. The in speed meter gets located uh, somewhat lower than the turbine. Got one of the local farm cats watching the excitement. There we go, a little higher there. The wind's a little variable today too, and uh, that does seem to cut down on the um, watts output. There's 412, 450, 474, there we go, 702. When it's more of a straight line wind like we get out here, it's easier to get the RPMs up quick. but. Today, like the last couple of days, the wind's kind of, there we go, 780, 850, 875, that was nice, 760, but when that wind flip-flops uh, direction there, as you can imagine, it seems to cut down on the RPMs. The other day when it was pretty much a straight on west wind, I was easily getting higher watts with the lower uh, recorded wind speed. But when it kind of flops from west to northwest to north to back again, you lose some of that momentum there. So 
So just collecting some data here. I know some folks were curious about this particular grid tie inverter. 10 to 30 volt rather than the higher voltage model, but a thousand watts rather than 500. There we go. There we went into overvolt. Let's see how fast our recovery is here. Looks like we're still in. close to resetting. May have to consult some of the uh, higher wind powers there about uh, finding, adding a little more load or braking to get those RPMs down to drop it back into the range. I've got the higher voltage uh, 22 to 60. I'll be hooking up later. Apparently it's much more common. I just had this one hooked up and thought I'd do a few more uh, Tests here. So you can see that on a day where, uh, at least with my setup here, the winds aren't going to drop down significantly at least for a moment to <clears throat> allow the RPMs to drop and the voltage to drop back into range you're going to be kind of hosed gotten close a couple of times but uh And those coils are definitely heating up. You can smell them getting nice and toasty. Not going to want to keep a hand there too long. So you can see, at least with the setup I've got, without any additional modifications, um, you're going to lose a lot of wind on a day like today. If it's sustained higher winds, to not at least allow that uh, grid tie inverter voltage range to be hit, you're just going to be sitting here in overvolt, not producing anything. So it may well be that for my location out here, that higher 22 to 60 is uh, a smarter choice. All right, coming up on the time limit here, so uh, sign off and come on back uh, a little later maybe when we uh, get down, get out of overvolt here. So signing off.